Hi, Kevin Van Elsen with RockTread. Today we're going to be demonstrating our RockCrete SL flooring system. Uh, RockCrete SL is a self-leveling urethane. It is uh, very good for wet processing areas, uh, beverage processing, food processing, commercial kitchens. At RockTread, we are very conscious of being eco-friendly. Our products are zero VOCs. Uh, it's going to meet all lead guidelines to, for your projects that need to have those credits. Uh, it is approved for USDA and FDA. This is our RockCrete SL kit. Uh, our kit consists of an A and a B urethane, uh, the aggregate, which is a proprietary blend. Uh, you can't just take any aggregate and mix it in with our urethane. It is made specifically for the kit. And then we have our universal pigment color pack. Urethane cements have become more popular in the marketplace because of their ability to return the area back to service for the beverage plant, commercial kitchen, uh, food processing, meat packing plants, things of uh, industry of that nature. Uh, it has an expansion and contraction that's similar to concrete, which will handle thermal swings. Uh, many of your processing areas do 180 degree wash down. And when that high water, high temperature is put on the concrete, it expands and contracts. Uh, typical epoxy resin systems do not hold up to that expansion and contraction. Uh, the urethane cement does. Uh, we also, what's good with the urethane cement is that it does not promote uh, mold or mildew growth on the surface. And it, it also has very good chemical resistance. The chemical resistance will hold up to caustics and acids that are used in wash down cleaning procedures. Uh, our kit is, like I said, comes with an A and a B. Uh, we have the pigment pack and the aggregate pack. If you need to install in temperatures below 50 degrees, we also have an accelerator. And this will speed up the cure for those uh, low temperature curing. Uh, a kit of our SL covers 66 square feet at uh, an eighth of an inch. And at 3 sixteenths of an inch, it's 44 square feet and at a quarter of an inch, it's 33 square feet. Okay, before we start the installation, what uh, typically happens is, is that a moisture test is done on the concrete. That can either be a calcium chloride test or a relative humidity test. Uh, those are typically done before the contractor arrives to the job site. That allows the contractor to know if he needs to do anything different in regards to moisture mitigation. The nice thing about our RockTread SL product, though, is that it handles high moisture content in the concrete. Um, it can even go down on a damp surface. So it, it's good for those wet environments. Uh, today in here, we have a substrate temperature of 63 degrees. Uh, or ambient air temperature is probably 65 in here. So we're, we're good on our scales to be able to install the, the product. Uh, the product requires a surface profile. Uh, the International Concrete Repair Institute has set guidelines for concrete profiles. It's a one through a nine. And on those surface profiles, what that is talking about is the uh, the depth of the profile, whether it be shot blasted or diamond ground, uh, there is a texture to the floor, to the concrete. Uh, so what we've done in here is we've diamond ground this floor to uh, a CSP three or four. If you were to feel this concrete, it's gonna have a texture a lot like a 36 grit sandpaper. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, get everything ready to install the product. When we come back, we're going to start installing this and we'll discuss how the installation goes down. What we've done now is we've got one of our mixing guys mixing the product that we're going to put on the floor here. We took the A in the pigment pack 
put it in, pre-blended that, then put the B, uh, the part B of the urethane in, and mix that for 30 to 60 seconds. Then we're putting uh, the part C in, which is our aggregate, proprietary blend of aggregate. Okay, we have Eric Sebi, who is our product development manager. He is now our installation man. Uh, so we've put the Rockcrete SL out on the floor and we're going to begin gauge raking the product out to 3 sixteenths of an inch. As you can see, we're using a gauge rake. These are available from Midwest Rake. Uh, they come in different widths. They work really well for uh, getting the product laid out at the proper thickness. Typically, on a job site, you're going to have two individuals in your mix area mixing it, one running the product out to the floor, and on the floor itself, you're going to have an individual running the gauge rake, and then you're going to have another individual porcupining the floor, which is a porcupine roller. You'll see that process here in just a minute. One thing with this product is, is you don't want to leave the product in the bucket very long. It has a very fast set time. So the set time on this product, it starts curing almost immediately as soon as the product is mixed. Uh, after the product has been gauge raked out, you want to take your porcupine roller. We recommend using the metal variety better than the plastic. Uh, you get better penetration into the liquid and down to the substrate with the metal variety of a porcupine roller. As you can see, Eric is going back and forth through the liquid. What this is doing is there's some outgassing that occurs when the product goes down into the pores of the concrete. What it's doing is helping release that uh, outgassing through the coating to allow it so we don't have uh, bubbling in the surface. Now with this product you can leave it as it is and just have a matte finish on the product or it can also be broadcasted to rejection. Uh, the broadcast, what it does for you is it gives you more slip resistance. Um, but it can be a one and done floor. So you can come in, gauge rake out the floor, porcupine it, and the floor can be released to foot traffic in four to six hours. So that's that return to service. Another thing that's uh, becoming more popular with this system is you can uh, broadcast decorative aggregate into it. This is our broadcast sand. And like I said, it's just for slip resistance. We're only going to broadcast half of it, and then we'll show you the other half not broadcasted. Um, but you can put decorative quartz in it, or you can put uh, uh, vinyl flake, any flake blend into it. Here's a finished sample of the floor that we just uh, demonstrated to you. Uh, on this sample, we broadcasted the floor to rejection. Uh, broadcasting the floor to rejection improves the slip resistance and abrasion resistance of the product. Uh, it is uh, good for forklift traffic, wheeled traffic. Uh, it's also, once again, it's very good for wet processing areas, food processing, uh, beverage processing. Uh, anywhere you're going to have those thermal shocks to the concrete from hot washdowns, 180 degree washdowns, uh, 
to find out more information about our Rockcrete SL product, go out to www.rocktread.com and you'll find data sheets and color cards for the product. Once again, this is Kevin Van Elsen with Rockcrete SL and Rocktread.